the my grannies, you know, and he told us, he told us, Pat Davis was his name, and he told us, you know, he said I was in the bed, in the bed one night, and the, and the fairies came in, he said, and they brought me out to the, to the ha-ha wall, you know where that is? Oh, Johnstown. There's a ha-ha wall there now, and it's up like an old piece of a wall, and they say, why didn't they take that down? And there's trees growing around it, like, you know, but it was never touched because they're afraid to touch it. You shouldn't yeah. touch a fairy leaf. You know, they said it's, it's, there, it's bad to go near it, like, you know. But it's still there now to this day, and they've knocked down walls, haven't they? Yeah. Built all stone walls and all, but they never went near never the went near. wall. And I, Nikki, you had the land down there in Gardemus, and I used to go down on my bike in the afternoon, you know, and I wouldn't be coming home till he'd be finished ploughing or what he'd be doing, you know. And I'd be on the tractor and I used to be terrified passing by the ha ha wall. We had to go right that. Oh, gee. And the fairies. Oh, yeah. You tell us one now, mate. Well, my aunt Annie, she, she lived in, she was married in Limerick. Yeah. And she had three or four children, but this day she was expecting another one and she went across the fairy rat. You know, and the child was born maybe three or four weeks after. And she went down to the room to feed it one day and there was a fairy child at the other end of the bed and hers was gone. Or, you know, that was that was really happened. Yeah. And a few months after she said she could see all the baby clothes belonging to herself out on the bushes. Oh God. Well, that's the truth. Yeah. She told us that for a fact. She never went that way again. <laughs>